to know who's going to be great and who's not going. We're on, we're on with two great people, I have to tell you that. But sometimes you're so amazed and so disappointed in some people that you have them and you see them and you meet them and they look great and they dress sharp, everything's great, and you say, oh, wow, they're going to be fantastic, and they turn out to be a total dud. And then you'll have some that you don't really predict will do that well, and they turn out to be superstars. So you really, you really see that. But you know, that's and that, that's the thing I learned the most, Cindy, about the show itself is that it's very hard to predict who's going to be the star early on. Well, I didn't know Debbie as well as Arsenio, other than I watched her on Broadway in Les Mis, and she was fantastic. So, I, I mean, the thing I knew about Debbie, she's a very, very talented singer and actress. Uh, and I was actually there at opening night when she opened in Les Mis, and she was great. I mean, I still remember it, the way she sang. Uh, Arsenio I knew for a long time, but I really knew him through the show. And his show was the hottest show. I mean, he was the best at what he did it. He was sort of killing everybody, and he, it became the buzz show. And then all of a sudden, Arsenio was gone, and nobody quite understood it. I, I, in fact, I'm going to have to talk to you, Arsenio, to figure it out, because he had this hot show. And I think Arsenio sort of went into hide, hiding. And I can tell you, a lot of people, when they heard Arsenio was on our show, they said, wow, that's a great get. Because he sort of became almost reclusive, and people wanted him for different things, and he wouldn't do it. And I view this as Arsenio's coming out party. Wait till you see what happens with him. He's, he really did a great job. And I think that Arsenio will have a, a very major show after Celebrity Apprentice. And a lot of people were really impressed that we got Arsenio, so that's it. And we're honored to have had him. Arsenio, I want 10% immediately. <laughs> Uh, maybe poorly. <laughs> you have the patience. It's such a hard job, and it's. I mean, these people work so hard, and, and in a way, I could never understand it. But with time, I got to understand. If you look at Joan Rivers, how well she did, and I'm not even talking about people that win. I'm talking about people that didn't win. Trace Atkins. I, you know, people hadn't heard too much about Trace Atkins, and he's now the number one country singer, uh, and he he didn't win. Piers Morgan took over Larry King, and and people that went two two episodes, three episodes, everybody was happy. Not everybody. I mean, some people left poorly. Some people quit, and you know, forever known as quitters. And and you know, this, not everybody was thrilled with with having done it. But most people that that really worked at it, uh, amazing. And and the reason the reason is they want to protect their brand. And in certain ways, the celebrities work even harder. And these are people, and many of them, of great success. They work even harder than when we just did the regular apprentice, where, you know, frankly, you had people that weren't celebrities and weren't necessarily successful. And I think the reason, Joan Rivers is an example. I mean, she was 76 years old when she won. She had the, the stamina better than any of the athletes we had on the show. And these were great, strong athletes. And it was amazing. They want to protect their brand. So it's been really a lot of fun for me. Well, I do think so, actually. I mean, you know, the reason I did The Apprentice, and I was told it could never be successful, and it became, as you know, many nights the number one show on television and continues to do really well. And, you know, 10 o'clock, it's the number one show, and Sunday, it's the number one show. You know, it's been a great success. And uh, I was told that a business show, and I consider this somewhat of a business show, but a business show has never made it in prime time. And I was told that very strongly by agents and everyone else. They said, don't do it, you're wasting your time. And, you know, this is 12 seasons later, uh, and it continues to be uh, one of the great shows. So, it, it's you know, I've had a lot of fun with it, but, but you know, I really, this is an example of a, a show that's business-oriented, if you think about it. It's entertainment, but it's business-oriented that really made it in prime time. Well, we had, uh, Arsenio had a great rival, but I, I'll tell you, there was one rivalry that was very interesting. Lisa Lampanelli versus Miss Universe, uh, Diane wow. Mendoza. Mm -hmm. And that was an unbelievable rivalry. I don't know what it is that uh, Lisa had against Diana, but it was, it was brutal. You know, Lisa's tough and smart. But she ended up being very smart. She was actually very, in a very understated way, she turned out to be very smart. But Lisa just, I mean, she went after Diana. It was brutal.
Well, essentially, it's celebrity, it's smart, it's, you know, the level of enthusiasm, and almost all of them have, and it's a very, it's actually a great question. It's very hard. All you can do is pick what you think are the best, in this case, 18 people. You know, it's the largest cast we've ever had, because... It's done so well that they actually have two extra episodes this year, 15 or 16 episodes. So it's it's just something that you have to go with the gut. You pick the people that you think will be really good together. And I think that's why we have a great cast this time. We've really had some tough decisions to make, and we hate to make them in many cases. We hate yeah. to, you know, sometimes we, we make a decision and it's like, you know, we hate to tell other people they're not going to be on the show.